All right. Um, thanks for coming to the closing ceremony. We are going to start with a video that Valesio did for all of us. Um, and let's hope everything works. It starts without sound. It's fine. <laughs> Life is just a mutual imagination With fairy tales and birds and bugs and the trees And it's cold in here, can't you see me shaking? That's why I just want to start with all the baking fictional story with characters who can walk on water and it's hot in here can't you see me baking that's why I just want to start with all the shaking Until I go down again So girl you better give me some goddamn Where is Valesio? Stand up. Right. So this is the last part of the video, and it has the credits, but it's missing him that actually did the video. <laughs> All right. I think I don't have anything to say here. Or should I? <laughs> right. I don't care. You can if you want to. All right. So uh, we'll start this closing ceremony with some stats. Um, some stats about our attendees. So you and those that have already left. We had 52 different countries visiting us to th this week. Uh, we had 581 people that registered. Uh, 650 people that managed to be on site, even though quite a bunch of them didn't register. 
Um, 169 people that were sponsored attending the conference, uh, 151 guests, this is people that didn't stay at the hostel, 240 people that paid for their expenses. <laughs> 79 professional attendees, 35 corporate attendees. And 49 people that were supposed to come and didn't come. <laughs> All right, so some yeah. infrastructure stats? Yeah, some infrastructure stats. As you probably know, we had one gigabit of upstream link, which was quite nice. Uh, we used one router, a total of eight switches, which we could later reduce to four switches and had 10 gig interlinks between the switches. We had two wireless LAN controllers, 32 access points, and I think wireless was pretty good overall. Uh, peak bandwidth usage was 962 megabits. <laughs> we did have some issues. A total of three servers broke down. Uh, one of them made us stay up until 3.30 at the morning in, on Monday of DEPCAMP. Uh, DEPCAMP, sorry, that was a lot of fun. Uh, we had a complete power outage at the upstream data center, which took everything down except the internal network and streaming. <laughs> <laughs> and the location of the last switch has b pretty bad pre-cabling, so we are actually forced to use totally non-spec SFPs to just blow through everything and uh, yeah, kill the problem by sheer force. So these are uh, a bit of stats about the uh, video stuff we've done. We had, uh, well, this is the stats at lunchtime, so it's a bit out of date now. At that time, we had about one and a half terabytes of raw DV files. Well, we still have those, but we've got a bit more. We had uh, 480 files of raw DV files. Um, some of those are junk and we don't need them, but it's still a lot. Uh, the ones that we're actually interested in, the WebM files encoded, uh, are, well, if you want to watch them all in, in one go, you have 66 hours ahead of you, 67 hours ahead of you, so have fun with that. <laughs> and it's, it's 4 to 1 gigabytes, so make sure you have a good pipe. Uh, we have about 204 sessions that were encoded, uh, all in total. Uh, they should, uh, apart from those that were done this afternoon, all of them should have been transcoded by now. So if you go online and you check the video, uh, at least a website. Wait, whoa, forgot about this part. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, the, the hours of streaming we've done. Um, also very interesting. Uh, yeah, if, if you see any videos that are missing or broken, uh, if you do that tonight and you tell us tonight, it's a lot more easy for us to fix them tonight than it is to do it next week because next week we have to do the entire setup again uh, and tonight it's still there. So if you find an issue with one of the videos, Please tell me tonight, and I can easily fix it. It's two clicks away, and it's done. All right? <laughs> yeah. We, obviously, the, the, the really important stats um, are um, that we sold uh, 600 drink coupons. We have gotten the number from the venue that people drunk 1,500 uh, liters of beer, and we just don't believe that, because if you correlate the number of drink coupons with the amount of beer they buy, it just doesn't add up. I so, yeah, either you're all into Apfelschorle or something else, we, we, we don't know. Um, the, the Club Mart and Fritz Cola numbers, which you can see up there, are way more realistic. Um, and we got 135 liters of afternoon coffee, so that ran out within 10 minutes every time. Um, I, I have a few more stats that didn't end up on the slides because they are produced with tech and that takes some time. Um, so that's 2,800 rolls you ate, um, 1,150 liters of coffee you drank in the morning, 380 liters of milk to make that go down with, 225 kilos of yogurt, and 33 kilos of sausage plus... 21 kilos of salami, which apparently the venue doesn't consider to be sausage. <laughs> 72 kilos of cheese, which is nothing against the cheese and wine party, as you obviously know. <laughs> you ate 125 kilos of noodles, 
320 kilos of potatoes, 100 kilograms of pork, 250 kilograms of turkey, and um, 150 kilograms of vegetables. Now, the most interesting thing I find is we had 180 kilograms of salad, but to digest them, you took 120 kilograms of salad dressing. <laughs> Okay, right, so, and then for a number of other random facts. <laughs> there were five raccoons, as far as we know. Oh, well, there are six, sorry, sorry, fix, fix that in latte. Wait, wait, wait. Um, so we checked, and actually you did not use 153 bars of the soap that we bought. Um, apparently everybody was, was happy with just one bar of soap. Um, we think there were at least 10 people who dyed their hair on site, and I think three of four, uh, three more actually dyed their chest hair, plus five more head swirls. For some reason, um, some weird movie was playing in the info terminal in the lobby, and we checked that it's for 110 hours going. <laughs> we'll see how long that will last after we are gone. And there's eight meters of washing line CAT6 cabling. One number which is missing here, we have more blue hair than the KDE uh, conference had. They even had a blog post about this. <laughs> so something new this year, uh, we had about 20 children on site. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, so we had a total of about 700 children on site. <laughs> uh, it was the first DEPCON with organized childcare, which... We had a tech workshop specifically geared towards children, which from what I heard was very, very successful, and the kids really enjoyed it. Uh, the kids also mean we, we do have an increased need of uh, quiet tech labs, and future DEPS comes will this take, take this into account during the planning phase as well. And to quote the DPL, this is a thing now. <laughs> so we'll keep it. And next year, we expect to see you all in Cape Town. Yes, now you applaud. We do know Cape Town is quite far away and quite expensive to get to, so we remind you all, please do register if you want to come and ask for a bursary if you need it. Let the bursary team decide if they can spare it or not. Don't think, oh, that's expensive, I'm not going to go. Please, uh, register. Cape Town doesn't have as many raccoons. I don't think we'll have five. We might only have this one if it sticks around and lives with Pollito. Um, but we do have penguins. And I think I've covered everything. Yeah. Ooh, can I give some, some video team stats? You didn't do the, you didn't do the volunteer stuff. Oh, uh, we, we have, we have, we have volunteer them. stats. Do you have them? Okay, yes. Uh, for now? Dates for DEPCON? Yes. I've already had a beer. Um, dates are 28th of June to the 2nd of July for Deb Camp, 3rd of July for Deb, Debian Day, and 2nd of July for Debian Day, 3rd of July to 9th of July for Deb Conf. Can everybody write that down? <laughs> so... If you're still interested in, in bidding for DEPCON 17, we have to start going. Um, three bids were presented this year, or at this DEPCON already. That's uh, Cambridge in the UK, uh, Montreal in Canada, and Prague in the Czech Republic. 
thanks for those. And um, until the end of the year, you can still bid. Um, there's the wiki page, and uh, we hope that you also have a very successful DevConf 17. So keep those bids coming. So uh, we have a few announcements, uh, some we already made in the morning, but just in case. Uh, there are tip charts for the hostel stuff, which has been really nice to us. So if you feel like uh, you want to tip them a little bit, there are tip charts there. And you can put your uh, not completely finished used drink vouchers there. Uh, and we really want your feedback, so please give feedback either by mail or by the wiki. And uh, among all of those that give feedback, there will be a raffle of uh, Chromebook provided by HP later in the year. What the deadline for the feedback? Um, end, end of September. And uh, there's, one other, there's one other thing we forgot to put on here. Um, after the closing ceremony, we're going to start cleaning up. The video team has already started cleaning up, so thanks for that. But we need to move tables from under Heidelberg and from out there from the beer garden, fold them together. So if you're willing to help before dinner, that would be really useful. It's only going to take a couple of minutes if many of you help. Uh, another thing, um, we will keep Wi-Fi working around Heidelberg, uh, but everything else will be uh, torn down pretty quickly. So if you need to check in to your flight or whatever, uh, do it around Heidelberg, because elsewhere um, we, will, we will pretty much uh, start tearing down as soon as we have dinner. Oh, uh, and Natty wants you all to know that she's personally available for your printing needs. So, <laughs> e e even if you don't have anything to print, just come to her and. You ask uh, how long the network will be around here. So we will. We are planning to have torn down everything around noon tomorrow. But we will reinstate the uh, network of the of the youth hostel. Uh, you get, I think, 20 or 30 minutes of free Wi-Fi, and if you change your MAC address, you get unlimited free Wi-Fi. <laughs> Anything else? Okay. Okay. So now on to the thank yous. Um, again. Our platinum sponsor, uh, HP, please give him a round of applause. <laughs> Our gold sponsors would be Kreativ, Sipgate, Matanel, IBM, Google, and Wealth. So the, the silver sponsors are Farsight Security, Example 42, Ubuntu, Mirantis, 1 and 1, Conova, MySQL, Hudson River Trading, Cumulus, Fujitsu, Arm, Two Sigma, and BMW. And the bronze sponsors are Godiok, Logilab, Netways, Hetzner, University of Zurich, Docker, DGI, Deruktiva, IT Support Group Electrical Engineering, Univention, Heroku, TMix, Dr. Markus Blatt, HPC Simulation Software and Services, <laughs> Meinberg, German Unix User Group, and PwC. For infrastructure, we've got Bikemark Hosting, Manda, Rackspace, Lineout, Gandinet, Oriented, GPL Host, Amera, Thomas Krenn, Bellevue, uh, the University of Heidelberg, and Cisco. <laughs> and last but not least, our featured and invited speakers, Bradley M. Kuhn, Werner Koch, Bidel Garby, J uh, Jacob Applebaum, Alison Randall, Peter Eckerlesi, John Sullivan, and John Maddock Hall.
The fantastic thing about this conference is that you guys all showed up and had a great time. But the other fantastic thing about this conference is that people just do and slot into place and everyone pulls their own weight and makes this all happen. And we want to take your, a little bit of time, of your time, to thank everyone who was involved in the making of this conference. Foremost, our chairs, Tasia, Tinchu, Kate, and More. Would you just please get up and come up for the stage? Every one of you has been to front desk and it's been marvelously staffed by very patient people. Fantastic support from Natty, from IndieBio, Jeffity, Lior, Kate, and Jan Marek. Would you please all get up and come to the stage? We've had the... Now just say, Leo is still at front desk, or what? <laughs> He's manning it. That's dedication. A lot of you, or we've actually had the largest travel budget um, in, from all the DEPCONs in the past, and uh, responsible for allocating that money to people who weren't able, who wouldn't have been able to come otherwise, is the bursaries team. So everyone here on this slide is not going to get up and come up here. David, Marga, who's already with us, Rene, Philip, Hook, Gaudens, Kore, Gunnar, Guido, and Richie. All right, and we only were able to manage all of you because we have this wonderful registration software called Summit. <laughs> which was beautifully maintained by the strong team, Kate, Eric, who is not with us, unfortunately, today, but he helped a lot, and Daniel. So please. <laughs> Content. The people responsible for wading through the huge amount of proposals that we got this year and making sure that, because we have limited spaces, uh, present you a interesting and diverse content selection where Maxi, Michael Bank, Rene, if you're not up here yet, please come up here, Anna, Andreas Tille, and Santiago. And Tincho is already up here, I'm very sorry. Tasia organized all of the sprints during DevCamp. Thank you, Tasia. The ad hoc scheduling, which was a very difficult task, was taken on marvelously by Maxi, I think, this year. And Natty had several rounds of wonderful lightning talks, so let's applaud them for that as well. Maxi also did lightning talks. Ah. So Ma Maxi was also involved in the lightning talks and the live demos. The infrastructure. The people at the hostel are wondering what the heck is going on. They, we've taken over this network and they're... Well, anyway, they've done a fantastic job. I think by Monday night we were set up, second day of Dep Camp. So thank you very much to Richie, to Ganef, to Zobel, who unfortunately had to leave us already, Peter, Weasel, Julian, Luca Filipozzi, Mark Haber, Thomas Lange, Bastian Blank, and... And Jonathan Dupar, who came for DebCamp to help us set up and then left again because he couldn't stay longer. <laughs> Myself and Daniel in the back office. <laughs> v 
visa assistance was handled by Rene and Michael. Thank you very much. And Norman. Yeah. I, if at any point in time you're like, I help too, just come up. Yeah. All right? Yeah. So there's actually a mistake here. Did, as far as I know, Judith is uh, Hannes's wife. But uh, Hannes and his wife have organized the day trip. All of the options, they are unfortunately not here, I think. But give them a warm round of applause. Ilo found the venue of the conference dinner. <laughs> and then childcare was organized by Ilo as well and Tasia. And unfortunately, Francisca, whose birthday it is today, so in case you see her. <laughs> And Hannes, the two of them are currently out with the kids so that we can have fun. And Anna. And Anna. And Anna as well. Yeah. I think the kids liked it. <laughs> Fundraising. Brian, he's unfortunately not here anymore. Richie, Marga, Michael, myself, Thomas Lange, Daniel, and Michael in the SPI back office. Thank you very much. There were, there were a lot of other people also involved in fundraising, giving us leads that then we then pursued. If your name has not been shown here and you feel like you should be up here, then please come. Alison, for instance. There we go. And then the video team. A lot of messages on Twitter have been saying, we're watching Depcon from Argentina, we're watching Depcon from over here, this is so awesome. And you guys really put it all together and did a fantastic job. Stefano, Andy, Kurt, Wouter, Ivo de Decker, Phil Hans, Giacomo Cardenazzi, Tiago, Judith, Luis, Paulo, Jonathan Carter, and all the other volunteers, of which there were 58 and 21 who took more than 10 tasks. I'd also like to say thank you to Carl Karsten, who's been a tremendous help setting up the transcoding system, without which I would not have been ready today, or almost ready. So thank you, Carl. And thank you, the two at the camera, who are taking this so seriously that you're not coming up here. <laughs> and, and Ollie, Ollie, I'm sorry, I didn't see you. Where is he? Igars. Come on. And then also...
Stefan and everyone on your team, you've been fantastic hosts. It's been absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. They, did, they do have to prepare dinner, so they are excused now. I just wanted to thank the cake team, the new team we have this year with about 40 volunteers. So whoever uh, helped out, hey, raise your hands. And come up here. And come, <laughs> and come up here. Was the first uh, collaborative made cake for Debian birthday. And the cheese and wine team also is, uh, deserves some applause. <laughs> so everybody who ate cheese and drank wine, come up. No, 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 no. <laughs> but the biggest thank you is to all of you guys, because without you, it would be really boring to organize this. <laughs> and I think now... Yeah, so now it's the, the official moment where DevConf 15 ends and DevConf 16 starts. <laughs>